Do I sit right in the middle? Or off to the side? <sighs> middle it is. Alright, so in last in the first video I talked about how cross training can be really monotonous and slow and boring and all that, and that's obvious. But to help that monotony go by a little bit faster and to help it maybe feel a little less monotonous, there's certainly a number of things you can try to do to mitigate that. I mean, besides focusing on your goals and stuff, um, there's some easier stuff, I guess. Um, and that comes down to the title. What do you listen to? And for me, I'm just going to share my experiences because I really don't know what you listen to. Um, but what I listen to is kind of a variety of podcasts in music depending on what it is that I'm doing. And so if I'm doing a cycling workout, then I'll listen to faster paced stuff, electronic type of stuff, and I've got a playlist that I put together with that. It does start with Eminem actually, but that's pretty much it. I'll put the link actually in the description in case you want to check it out. But I will listen to faster stuff and usually music when I'm actually working out. I wish I had waterproof earbuds and like an Apple Watch or something so I could listen to something while I swam, but I do not, so I just have to listen to myself gasping for air. It's not pretty, but it gets the job done. And then when I'm doing something slower, like just going for a regular ride or I'm doing my long day of cross training, which is usually long on the bike and then in the water, I can only listen on the bike, of course, um, I like to listen to podcasts a lot. And so I thought I would just put together kind of a list of some of the podcasts that I find sort of motivational or related to the realm of sport which I'm in. Um, and I just kind of give a quick rundown of each of those. Nike Trained is a pretty good one. They usually interview people in sport in all different regards. I mean, I listened to one the other day about the woman who invented Orange Theory. It was pretty interesting just talking about like the benefits of Orange Theory kind of, but also like how it came to be um, and how she kind of made it after going through some like hardships in, in her career and stuff being laid off. Um, and it's just good to listen to something again about coming out of hardship stronger as you are in this hardship of injury and you're hoping to come out stronger as well. And so, you know, that's not like all about running. And so you don't, aren't just like, oh, I'm missing out on running. It kind of is like this transformational benefit that comes out of this hardship, um, which is related, I think, in, in motivational in and of itself without having to talk about running, um, which, is, which is good because I think it's good to focus on some other things as well. Another one is Outside Magazine. They have a bunch related to all sorts of things involving the outdoors. However, they do have a lot of ones related to sport. I mean, lots of more of you would think of like outdoorsy sports like climbing. Um, there's an interesting one about the pull-up world record, which was kind of crazy. Um, they have some, there's a good one about cross country skiing and she got a stress fracture and was able to win gold on the relay, which was really cool. But then it also talks about her struggle with breast cancer. She beats breast cancer, um, but then comes back and runs a sub three marathon. And so she's kind of transitioning into running. So that's really cool too, talking about how, you know, just because something interrupts the sport you think that you love. You can't be successful in something else in any regard in your life. So that's always good to listen to. And then I also enjoy Peaked Too Early, which is a straight up running podcast, but I feel like it's fairly grassroots. It's like, I don't mean to knock them by saying this, but it's not like super professional and it's like one-on-one -on -one relay. It's kind of a conversation of a few of these guys. Um, I think they're up in Massachusetts and they just talk about running a lot of uh, really into the collegiate and professional scene. It's good hearing them kind of give their, like I said, more grassroots. It's more casual, I guess. So you get some more humor in it, I feel like, than some of the like professionally produced Nike podcasts. They interviewed a couple weeks ago, Peter Sufer, um, who came in fourth place from Virginia Tech, the town I grew up in, and former high school rival. Um, and so that was really entertaining. Um, it was interesting to hear about his strategy going into that race and coming off of wins at the Atlantic Coast Conference and the NCAA Southeast Region title win. And so, and then they also get into like a lot of humor and stuff like revolving around his life and not totally into running too. So it gives you a, a good range of, of topics and, and stuff to laugh with as well. So another one that's kind of maybe grassrootsy, but it's a lot more popular than Peak Too Early is Serious Mag podcast. It's put on by Chris Chavez, and that's a little more casual, I think, than like the Trained or Outside magazine as well. Um, definitely not quite as like ad-libbed, I don't think, as 
peak too early, but it's really good and they focus a lot on headline stories, I think, in the running community, like the Oregon Project, Alberto Salazar, um, stuff like that, and they'll interview a lot of professional athletes. I feel like it's a little less focused on the college scene, but um, I think it's good to get more perspective into the professional world because that seems like it's so big and there's so many athletes and they kind of narrow things down a little. And so if you're lurk looking to like learn about um, stuff more specifically, I think Sidious Mag is a really good one for that. And then if I'm just going for straight up humor, I enjoy listening to the Tiny Meat Gang podcasts. Um, that's put on by Cody Co and Noel Miller. You might know them from Vine or YouTube, but they're really funny. Pretty kind of crass perhaps, um, and maybe a little inappropriate, but you know, that's and a lot of my humor. I'm not embarrassed to say that, but I find it really funny. And so if you're going really easy, like, or really just don't want to be thinking too much about sport, um, that's a good one to listen to as it just can make you laugh a lot. So I'll link all that stuff in the description below, but hopefully that'll give you some, some guidance in what to listen to to keep yourself entertained during this cross training and injury period. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Let me know if there's anything cool that I should be listening to and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.